Joined now by the Scottish Deputy First Minister, John Swinney. Very good afternoon to you, Mr Swinney. And can I start, first of all, by asking you, can you put your hand on your heart and absolutely promise us that the SNP will not seek another independence referendum in the next five years? Nicola Sturgeon was very clear at her manifesto launch this morning where she said that she was not planning for a further referendum and indeed there would have to be very significant to material changes before such circumstances arose that would give rise to a second referendum and that that matter was entirely and totally in the hands of the people of Scotland. And finally, I think she gave the, the, the absolute clarity that voting SNP in this election does not bring forward an independence referendum. So I hope that's a, a clear enough commitment to you in relation to this issue. Well, is it? Because there's another vote taking place, isn't there, next year for the Scottish Parliament. And if it's in the SNP manifesto, and again the Scottish people vote overwhelmingly, and you mentioned it's the will of the Scottish people, perhaps that might change circumstances. But I think what Nicola Sturgeon said was there would have to be some material change in the issues and, and the circumstances that we face. And one of the circumstances that she ruled out expressly was if the SNP did really well in this forthcoming Westminster election. She said even if we did really well in this election, that would not create the conditions that would bring forward a second referendum. So I think the position has been, we respect the fact that Scotland did not vote in favour of independence last September. We're setting out today the arguments as to why Scotland can secure an influential voice in the House of Commons. That was in fact what we were urged to do by uh, our opponents back in the referendum. They said don't leave the United Kingdom, lead the United Kingdom. Well we're simply trying to have our say in that debate and to set out what we think should be the priorities of the next United Kingdom Parliament. OK, you've been clear about that, Mr Swinney. What about this one then? Are there any issues which the SNP would regard as English and Welsh only matters at the Westminster Parliament which it would decide not to vote on? What are those matters? Well, there will be, there will be questions that are exclusively English only issues and as a former Westminster MP there were many issues that I did not vote on in the House of Commons because they didn't affect my constituents but I did vote on English issues that had an effect on my constituents and one of the best examples I suppose of that is the National Health Service where for example the move to the marketisation of the health service with the establishment of foundation hospitals ultimately will have an effect on the financial support for the English National Health Service which will then have a consequential effect on the financial support for the National Health Service in Scotland. Does that go so for that schools matters and education as well then? Sorry, does well, that go for schools do, yes. and education? It, it can do in, in circumstances where there is an effect on the circumstances here in Scotland. So we will approach these issues on, in a pragmatic way, but we'll do it with a very clear point of analysis that if there is an effect, a potential effect on the interests and the perspectives of people in Scotland, then we will use our votes in the House of Commons to influence the outcome on those questions. What do you make of these arguments then from both the uh, main Westminster parties? Uh, different, uh, but uh, Labour saying that you're trying to scare English and Welsh voters, given what you've just uh, said to us there, so much that they end up voting Conservative, and that secretly is what you want so as you can define yourself against it? There are no circumstances in which I want a Conservative government. I defeated the Conservatives to become a Member of Parliament 18 years ago and I was pleased to do so because I think the, te the Conservatives are, are, are awful. So we need to bring to an end Conservative government and the SNP, a big vote for the SNP, in Scotland will help to do that and it will help us to take forward an alternative agenda which will end austerity and see us investing in the public services and the infrastructure of our country. I meet too many members of the public who are suffering real hardship at the hands of a Conservative government to want anything other than to bring Conservative government to an end and SNP MPs will use whatever opportunity they have after the election on May the 7th to make sure that's secured on behalf of the people of Scotland. So the Conservatives saying that and uh, we, we've heard it from uh, all the the main uh, people within the uh, SNP, you would work with uh, Labour, perhaps only on a vote-by-vote -vote basis, um, to end uh, austerity. If you do that, the Conservatives say, you will wreck the recovery. This is the moment at which I believe we've got to invest in our economy. Uh, we're seeing uh, encouraging signs of, 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 of economic recovery, but there are still many challenges that we have to face. So this is the moment where we have a choice between 
30 billion pounds worth of austerity from the Labour Party and the Conservatives, or an alternative austerity which we believe will reduce the deficit. We well, not believe we've demonstrated the figures that will reduce the deficit and reduce the debt, but it will do so over a longer period of time. So the choice at this election is whether we start investing, start getting the major infrastructure projects underway, whether that's in housing, in uh, transport, or in information technology, whatever the, the particular investments are that can secure the necessary progress that boosts economic opportunities okay. in Scotland and delivers much better economic prospects for the people of our country. Deputy First Minister, good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. John Swinney there from the SNP.